Hello friends, so today we talk about 8D problem solving, so let's get started. So what is 8D problem solving? If you are involved in manufacturing or any industry that involves processes, then you know that problems can arise at any point in the process. And when the problem occurs, it's important to have a structure and systematic way of resolving it. And that's where 8D problem solving comes in. So 8D problem solving is a methodology used to identify, to correct, and to prevent problems in a process. It's an effective way of resolving complex problems that require more in-depth analysis. And the 8D pro process is broken down into 8 steps. Establish the team, define the problem, contain the problem, identify the root cause, develop and implement corrective action, verify the effectiveness of the corrective actions, prevent recurrence, and recognize the team. So here's our uh, our example to get deeply understand the each step in the 8D problem solving. Imagine that you are a quality control manager in a manufacturing company that produces automobile parts. You notice that there's been an increase in customer complaints about a certain part, and after conducting some investigation you realize that there's a problem with the manufacturing process that's causing the defects. So what should you do? Here is a step problem solving you should refer to. Okay, so the first step in a deep problem solving process is to establish the team. The team should be made up of individuals who have knowledge and experience in the process being analyzed. This could include individuals from various departments, uh, such as quality control, engineering, production, and management. So in our example, we bring together a team of experts from quality control, from the engineering, from production, and from management to work on the problem. So that is our team to solve this problem. The next step is to define the problem. The team needs to clearly define the problem in terms of what is happening, what is happening, when is happening, where is happening, and how often is happening. This step is crucial because it sets the stage for the rest of the problem solving process. So, for example, the team determines that the problem is with a specific part that is being manufactured. And the part has a defect that that's causing it to fail. And this is leading to an increase in customer complaints. The third step is to contain the product uh, pro, uh, problem. This means taking immediate action to prevent the problem from spreading or getting worse. It could involve stopping production, quarantining affected products, or other measures that are necessary to prevent the problem from getting out of control. So, for example, the team take immediate action to contain the problem. So they stop production of the part and quarantine any affected part parts to prevent them from reaching customers. The first step is to identify the root cause of the problem. This step involves a more in-depth analysis of the problem. To determine what is causing it, this could involve conducting tests, gathering data, and analyzing the results. <coughs> uh, in our example, our uh, our example, 
the team conducts a thorough analysis to identify the root cause of the problem. They realize that there's a problem with the cooling system in the production process that's causing the part to warp and become defective. The next step is to develop and implement corrective actions based on the information gathered in the step 4. The team needs to come up with a plan of action to correct the problems. This could involve changing the process, modifying equipment, or other measures that are necessary to fix the problem. For example, based on the analysis, the team develops a plan of action to correct the problem. They decide to install a new cooling system that will prevent the part from warping during production. The sixth step is to verify the effectiveness of the corrective actions. This means uh, testing the new process or equipment to make sure that it's working properly and that the problem has been resolved. For example, after implementing the new cooling system, the team conducts tests to verify its effectiveness. They find that the new system is working properly and that the problem has been resolved. The seventh step is to prevent recurrence. This involves taking measures to ensure that the problem does not happen again in the future. This could involve implementing new uh, procedures, training employees, or other measures that are necessary to prevent the problem from happening again. Uh, for example, to prevent recurrent, uh, recurrent, the team decides to implement a new quality control process that will catch any defects before the parts are shipped to customers. They also train employees on the new process and ensure that it's being followed correctly. The final step is to recognize the team. It's important to acknowledge the hard work and effort put in by the team to solve problems. This could involve presenting awards or other forms of recognition to the team members. Uh, for example, uh, the, finally, the team is recognized for their hard work in solving the problem. They are presented with uh, awards and recognition for their efforts. In conclusion, the 8D problem solving process is a systematic approach to resolving complex problems in a process. By following this process, the team was able to identify the problem, to develop a plan of action, and to implement corrective measures to prevent the problem from happening again in the future. This helped the, to improve the quality of product, reduce costs, and increase customer satisfaction. Thank you for your listening.